Nearly 600 scaffold incidents happen each year in the province of Alberta, and several of these incidents result in death. The only way to ensure a safe worksite, the safety of your co-workers and your own safety, is to abide by the proper safety assembly instructions for a scaffolding system. The Alberta Construction Safety Association has produced this video to show you the proper procedure for installing a basic pump jack system in a safe and controlled way. We understand that workers have different ways of doing things. Whether this is your first time working with a pump jack system or it's part of your daily process, it's important to understand and implement proper procedure for setting up a scaffolding system. How confident are you with your scaffolding skills? Could you answer the following questions? As a worker working on a pump jack scaffold system, what is the most important thing for you to remember? How much weight can a pump jack system hold? And do you understand the proper procedure for erecting a pump jack system? This video will answer these questions and also provide you with the knowledge necessary to work safely with a pump jack scaffolding system. Whatever scaffolding system you use, it's necessary to follow the manufacturer's specifications for proper installation. This video will focus on the following steps for safely erecting a pump jack system at your worksite. Step number one is hazard assessment. Step two, equipment inventory. Step three, proper system assembly. Step four, the use of scaffolding. And step five is proper system disassembly. Now remember, you're the one putting up the system, so a safe work procedure is up to you. It is required by law that all employers, supervisors and workers be aware of and meet all of the Alberta Occupational Health and Safety Act regulation and code regarding the business of scaffolding. When assessing a worksite for potential hazards, keep your eyes and ears open for the following items. Ground conditions, weather conditions, excavation, equipment, grade, housekeeping. The safe and efficient use of scaffolding depends on choosing the right system for the job. In Alberta, 70% of work sites use a pump jack system. We will be using the basic pump jack scaffolding system to demonstrate proper procedure. The minimum inventory requirement for a pump jack system is as follows. Planks, poles, screws, ladders, brace, jack, pole joint, safety lock chain, fall protection screen. Erecting and dismantling operations result in many scaffold related injuries. You can prevent injuries or even death by following the guidelines for proper system assembly. Follow these instructions for properly erecting a pump jack scaffolding system. Place planks in the desired work position with rung vertically against the wall. Position the poles upwards, assuring that the planks are no further than 14 inches from the wall. Secure the braces to the poles. Braces must be secured to the structure with three inch screws. A minimum of four screws must be used with each brace. Up to 24 feet, one roof or wall brace is required. Fasten braces to a piece of solid material with the holding power of at least a half inch plywood. Secure the brace to the pole and then push the pole out to a plumb position. Then fasten the brace to the structure with screws. Secure the blank to the hack and the benches with safety locks and or chains. Note: Do not install a plank standing platform more than 14 inches from the wall. There should not be an opening greater than 14 inches anywhere around a working person. Do not stand on the plank workbench. Cure all of your materials, tools, etc. to the workbench. Position pumping handles upright before descending. Do not raise any one pump jack more than 15 degrees higher than the adjacent pump jack. This is for erection purposes only. All work must be done on a horizontal plane. Stand all poles on stable, firm foundations. When working on soil, 
two plates of one foot squared by three quarter inch plywood must be nailed together to form a sill plate. The mud sill should rest in the sill plate. Secure safety locks and or chains at all heights. Note, do not extend access ladder more than 39 inches above standing platform. Do not exceed maximum allowable load of 500 pounds, consisting of two man crew at 400 pounds and 100 pounds for a box of siding and tools. All scaffolding components must be installed and used in accordance with the manufacturer's recommended procedure. These components should not be altered in the field. Scaffold frames and components manufactured by different companies should not be intermixed, unless the component parts readily fit together and the resulting scaffold's structural integrity is maintained by the user. Dismantling a pump jack system may seem simple, but care must be taken to inspect the structure and if necessary replace the components that have been damaged or removed by workers during its use. The dismantling of a pump jack scaffolding system proceeds in the reverse order to the erection. Follow these directions for dismantling a pump jack system. Detach safety locks and or chains from the scaffold. Position pumping handles upright before descending. Remove all your tools and materials from workbench. Disconnect safety locks and or chains and have secured the plank to the hack and benches. Unscrew the brace from the structure and then detach the brace from the pole. Detach braces from solid material used as anchor. Detach braces from the poles. Remove the poles from the wall. Remove the planks from the wall. Remove mud sill from sill plate. It is possible to prevent scaffolding incidents at your work site. You now have the understanding of how to properly use, set up and dismantle a pump jack system. And it's up to you to make sure the safe procedures are put into practice. As a review, let's answer the scaffolding questions we started with. As a worker on a pump jack system, what is the most important thing to remember? Answer: Never work on a system unless you have been properly trained and take all the appropriate safety precautions. How much weight can a pump jack system hold? Never exceed the maximum allowable load of 500 pounds, consisting of a two-man crew at 400 pounds and 100 pounds for a box of siding and tools. Do you understand the proper procedure for creating a pump jack system? Yes. Always follow the manufacturer's specifications for proper scaffold direction. Knowing the answers to questions like these and abiding by the manufacturer's specification for properly erecting a pump jack system can make the difference between life and death. Remember, safety is a way of life and it's your life on the line.